Hey everyone, I'm Kathy Kelly, and you might remember that my mother was right here at AfterBuzz TV on our SmackDown After Show a couple weeks ago. Well, she's a pretty cool woman, and I want to give her the best gift for Mother's Day. That is coming up in two weeks, May 12th. I don't know what I'm going to get her yet, but it is going to be good. I'm lucky, though, because I am an only child, and if you are not an only child, you are going to really have to step up your game. Well, Pro Flowers has amazing, amazing bouquets of flowers, and you can get up to 50% off by using a code AFTERBUZZ when you order your flowers for Mother's Day. Make sure you do it, proflowers.com. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network, now the largest new media platform on the web, and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's WWE Monday Night Raw After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424. 424- 256 1729. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's WWE Monday Night Raw After Show. I like shooting stars. I could use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Good evening and welcome to After Buzz TV, brought to you by Bing, where Bing is for doing. And we're here doing another live Monday Night Raw after show recap for the week of April 29th. We're coming out of Columbus, Ohio and the Nationwide Arena. And it's World Wish Day. Yeah. Yeah, baby. My name is Ryan GQ Money Cats. And as usual, I'm joined by my tag team of broadcast brilliance. My triple threat tag team yeah. of broadcast brilliance. <laughs> That's Ryan Morals Clum. People got their wish. I'm back to Tonight. Yeah. Josh, JP, <laughs> female demo pageant. Yeah. We got Kathy, fatal attraction, Kelly. I'm a little slow tonight. I didn't realize why you wanted this song. <laughs> and sitting on the couch next to her, Johnny, he's still Johnny from the block, Laquasto. Cake and he's got a cake pop. pop. Cake pop. <laughs> Cake pop and ham. Was that your wish? Damn right. I got it. Some sweets and goodies? It's going to get eaten before the show's over. I can definitely use a wish this week. Oh, yeah? What wish What's would you wish, like? Ryan? I ain't going to make that wish. Then it's not going to come true. That's I can't true. publicly let you guys yes, know. Uh, but just know that... That's a that's completely false. I just made my wish. You oh. guys have a good weekend? Wow. I had a great weekend. God, exhausting. Do anything exciting? Nah, not really. I shot a not shirtless love scene. And I was... <laughs> oh, what? what? JP doing love What does that stand for? Didn't you see, uh, what was it, the change up? No, it, it, it's like li- it's not. light porno. It's oh. like it's lower than softcore. <laughs> really? It yeah. was in the movie LA, The Change Up. That was, you know. And, and what was so, it like for? Skinima- so, like Skinamax. So, Skinamax. So, yeah. Yeah. Less than softcore means the acting's actually decent. Is that <laughs> 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 what, what, back in my day, no, they used no, to, no, my par- those used to be known as blue movies. Did you, to, <laughs> did you have to strap down or sock up or anything like that? That's part all, of that's all natural, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it's relevant yeah. to that. Just yeah. We went to a great wrestling show. We this did go weekend. to a great wrestling show, yeah. Wrestling Cares yes. for a good cause. I ran into Maria Canellis. Yes, I, she's I did as well. In, she's interested in calling in for oh, a future show yes. again. She was very nice. It was the first time I'd ever met her. Yeah, she's cool. Myself too. And she I said she loves there. all the AfterBuzz people. Mm-hmm. Loves and the AfterBuzz people. She she's said awesome. she misses it incredibly. Yep. Wishes to move back to LA so she can get back involved. The fans miss her too. Yeah. We get a lot of comments. All the we all miss Maria. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> Exciting times. Man, let's get right into Monday Night. Well, I, I guess we should probably introduce you since our fans don't know. Johnny yeah. LaQuasto, touring the country as a extraordinary stand-up comic. Oh, thanks. Uh, I, I was supposed to be on the show um, a while ago, but, <laughs> but sometimes you get bummed for belding. And what do you yeah. do? <laughs> like, yeah. I, I understand Hashtag the food bump. chain. I understand the food chain yeah. when, when the, the, you know, the, the CEO and the commander-in-chief of Bayside High is willing to go from Burbank at Dimples to Encino, you take the back seat. And I'm <laughs> happy to be here tonight. Hashtag bumped by Belding. Bumped by Belding. That's greatest B -B -B. principle of all time, you know. LaCosta yeah. could also be seen on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood as the right. interview man. Mm -hmm. yep. That is, if he doesn't lose some of those interviews to Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> He's a great guy. He is a great guy. But, uh, great guy. But, but, man, you're losing some of your interviews. Well, part of it is that I've actually missed the last two tapings. You have so. yet to interview Rixelplex. <laughs> Well, I, mm. I want to. You have Can we do it this weekend at the Red Carpet Rumble, perhaps? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Let's so. Let's make it happen. Let's get into Raw, right. man. Raw right. started interesting today. We got no recap video. Nope. Uh, we got no pyro. Very weird. We just start off with an interesting and unusual match situation. We're back from commercial, and we've got, wait, yeah. wait a minute. Has the show been on? Ricardo <laughs> Rodriguez. Biggie Langston and Zeb Coulter mm -hmm. in a triple threat match where the winner of the match will get to choose the stipulation uh, for the heavyweight championship match at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Yeah. Extreme yeah. Rules? I, I believe so, yes. Let me remind everybody, with Mother's Day coming around, uh, if you're going to make a purchase, why don't you go to proflowers.com, throw, throw AfterBuzz uh, into the little coupon code. You'll save yourself a little money right there, www.proflowers.com. And then yeah. to, or if your mom's dream is to be a diva, go to get her uh, Ryan's five uh, ten tips for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Kathy's mom doesn't like flowers. My so mom that, does not like flowers. Because I was gonna try to you know get, get some brownie points and <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. her up last time with you, and then Kathy's like, nope, nope, she won't like that. She liked Clum though. She liked me. I got she moms, cake moms pops. always love me. <laughs> cake pops. Well, if she doesn't like flowers, they can give chocolate roses, too. Oh, they do yes. have lots ah. of different things on the website. We have a P.O. box to send flowers to cats. <laughs> I'd love to get some flowers. <laughs> that would be fans. awesome. That would really make my day. <laughs> if we came in, there's just a big bouquet of flowers there next week for you. <laughs> Who's going to send smiley flowers? I had a hugely busy, a crazy busy day today because I was actually going to go to the backyard and cut some roses. For, for Kathy over here this week, and I didn't get a chance because I was running oh. behind schedule. Because you don't care. I have roses in my backyard that are honestly this big. Oh, wow. They are amazing. They, I have red, I have white, and I have pink. Wow. wow. Did, you, did, you, did you plant those? <laughs> my when landlord you, planted you those. Okay. And they're enormous. And everyone's so excited Let's right now to be show. worried about your flowers <laughs> in Take your backyard. Take that, Southern California people without backyards. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I got my man Ricardo Rodriguez in the ring for an actual match yeah. today. This is nice. Uh, but it's kind of interesting because we got a kind of hybrid of comedy, a uh, little fluff, and then you got the seriousness of Big E in the match as mm -hmm. well. So you're obviously thinking going into this match, Big E is going to tear them up. I called Ricardo from the big get-go. You did? Yeah, mm -hmm. you did. I wasn't I here when you made that right call. Right away, I said Ricardo's going to win. Easily, I mean, just my mind goes to, well, you're supposed to think, obviously, Absolutely. you would think Big E's going to win. Zeb's not going to go over. Ricardo's the only. And you've got heel, heel, baby face here. So it would make sense for the baby face to go over. Big E controlling most of the matchup. Uh, as we get towards the finish, Ricardo tries to smash Big E with his corner man bucket. Didn't really work too well. Uh, then he tried to chuck it at Biggie Langston's face. Angered the big man. Biggie Langston grabbing Rodriguez for a slam. And then in comes Alberto Del Rio. Inseguri takes out Big E. Dolph Ziggler then comes in the ring, drop kicks Del Rio. <laughs> Some loud music. Swagger comes into the ring, clears Ziggler out of the ring. And then Zeb goes for a cover on Ricardo, but AJ right. is able to stop the ref's hand from coming down. That was cool. You like that? That's great. You popped on that. Johnny popped right, well, big time I mean, on that. in fairness, though, I he I, jumped out of his seat. But, ah! I, but I pop every time I see AJ. So yeah, it's that's not true. Like, yeah. But what she did was great. It was cool. Yeah. You know, I love the fact that Teddy Long was like. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'll make a stipulation match with two out of three people that aren't actual wrestling superstars officially. Zeb Coulter, Ricardo Rodriguez, holla, holla, holla. Why not? Just stipulation. Right. Make it happen. I love that. Are you Del Rioing? I'm Del Rioing right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. We get it going. We got a little cha-cha. I support the Del Rioing. We got just, a little cha-cha. Just wait till we start talking about Mr. Swagger. <laughs> no! Oh, wait. 
Wait, Zeb Coulter is in this match. <laughs> I think this Zeb Coulter is in this match. We're gonna have to move on to Kali. Uh, right. How do you say Kali eating? Kali. Yeah, I think you just, you just said I don't it. like Kali. No, he, can't no, I like the... he definitely can't say it. Kali. <laughs> oh, no. I, I still think Kali needs his Kali. own talk show. He needs his own talk show. We will start Kali. <laughs> I would love that. That's a great idea, Clum. Ricardo. Uh, wasn't that amazing? <laughs> Give him like a Johnny Carson style Give him show. Give set. And a pre-taped segment where he does a talk show. Perfect. Yeah, and just let someone sit there and have him ask questions. We'll, talk, no more, we'll talk more we'll about, about that. Yeah, yeah. All right, Ricardo ends up rolling up Zeb Coulter, gets the three count, and now Alberto Del Rio gets to set the stipulation for that championship match three weeks from now, coming up at Extreme Rules. Mm -hmm. Should be interesting. I think we're going to find out later in the program yes. what that stipulation is. We didn't find out right now. Nope. No. Uh, but if we go into the next segment, it's going to be a very nice, feel-good moment. As I said at the top of the show, it's World Wish Day right now. And John Cena came out to kind of honor the Make-A-Wish Foundation and all the work he does. As he brought in uh, three people and turned them into honorary superstars for the night. This is uh, awesome. We got the Eliminator. We got Nick the Stitch and Lightning Logan. Yeah. The video Th for that was so cute. Oh yeah. my god! And thankfully, no one's booing Cena when he came out for that. I mean, they, if they you boo it. Cena, just kill yourself. Like for, I mean, <laughs> what he, what, that whole segment was unbelievable for those kids. Yeah. yeah. Anyone Incredible. who would boo him coming out there is a awful human being. Yeah. Just terrible. My only complaint was they should have brought the kids down to the ring, let them experience walking down the ramp, let them get in the ring center. There was no. The, the, my only thought was someone else is going to come out and yeah. they need the ring for something. I think they but, all seemed really nervous to be up there in the first. So it just makes it simple. It also, it's, it's less I mean, time. I get that. Not only I, I do you get, get to meet Cena, still. you get to go to see a raw taping, and you get to come out with him. Like, that's yeah. so it's, cool. It's amazing. And yeah, it was really cool. Free swag. It's really awesome that all the WWE superstars get to be involved in these kind yeah. of charitable things. Uh, you know, anyone who follows me on social media knows that, you know, it's kind of important to me to try to make a positive impact on this world, mm -hmm. uh, positive influence on people. And then getting the opportunity to do something so spectacular and make someone's life that much better, even if it's just for that moment, uh, let them put their suffering and pains to the side and just li you know live the life for at least, even if it's just for one night. They're amazing with that stuff. I, I did a show a couple years back ago where we followed uh, great people in the world of health uh, doing great things, and we were doing something in Connecticut and we contacted WWE about it, and we never ended up working with them, but they were immediately like, "We would love to do anything. We want to help you guys. You know, anything charity wise." I calls them, they're always jumping on it. Patrick, as I'm looking at you right now, you're growing out the stubble today. No, I actually, well, no, you, I, I You got some growth it. going got, on. There's some growth. There's a, there's I like a two it's day. It's because you, you heard the recent study that it, it's now a recent study that women find men with a seven to ten day beard growth sexier than others. Well, oh, he oh. did a love scene over the What's weekend, this? for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, there's no way. Like, I, I, my look, even if it's 15 days, 20 days without shaving, it always looks like a three day beard. It's, it's terrible. F One day, the other day. <laughs> He's already got a girlfriend. Why does he need to be more attractive? Lorna no Josh. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. He already looks like a taller <laughs> Tom Cruise. You better watch say. out. The Scottish <laughs> Shield are going to get all over for you for giving Josh a hard time. I'm having a rough day. You're going down. I'm sorry. The Scottish Shield. My mind Shield. is not focused. I'm focused on knives right they're, now. They're, they're already probably mad that I'm back and talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. Randy Orton taking on Cody Rhodes. In <laughs> I'm sorry, one on one matchup. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of those days. How am I going to talk about this match? I don't know how it started. I'm glad I dressed, I'm glad I dressed up. <laughs> All right. All right, let me get to action. What do you guys okay. think of this match? We got Orton versus Cody Rhodes. Everyone's loving the love stash. Everyone's still into it. We yeah, got yeah. Randy Orton getting serious, getting... You know, he's, he's trying to renew his focus. Yes. He's been on a little Hair is a little longer. Oh, growing yeah, notice out. It looked like it was a little bit longer. Like he started That's growing, out this, like like he started growing out this week. <laughs> now, now, could that be the fact that they've spent the last two weeks international and he just didn't have time to Very go possibly. home and get a haircut? Very possibly. You can't trust those euros with haircuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it does only look like a, a week or two extra growth. Beautiful superplex in this match. Uh, fantastic. Orton goes for an RKO. Cody counters it into crossroads. That should have been the end of the match right there uh, even if I was in the back and I was running the show and Orton was supposed to go over I would said finish it now that would have put Cody over huge it, it, it was a moment that I thought could have made Cody if they had let him win there I don't like a kicking out of his finisher on raw for free in the first hour 
it, 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 that should have been the finish right there. And it was In my opinion. There was a kick out by Randy Orton right yeah. there. Cody goes for his disaster kick as he's coming off of the ropes right there. Boom! Another RKO I, out of nowhere. I know where Cody messed up with this. The disaster kick, he never usually leads with his head, but tonight he made the mistake <laughs> of leading with his head. That's phenomenal. Expert so, analysis. Oh, Expert analysis. Oh, wait, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> that analysis what, came out of nowhere. The, the highlight of, of for me was when he when he did that uh, a crossroads to him. He stood mm -hmm. over top of him after he kicked down. He was like, "Your legacy is over." I'm like, yeah. "Yes." But yeah, cool. no. But alas. No. no, this was all about Randy Orton's yeah. night as Stryker goes into the ring for an interview asking him about what's going on. And he talks about Big Show's recent attacks on him and how they woke him up. And now he's never felt so focused. And then Rhodes tries to sneak in only to receive a second RK. No, 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 no. Randy Orton was about to forget his line. <laughs> and, and Cody was like, crap, I'm going to help him out here. And then yeah. he did what he yeah. did. Speaking of <laughs> focus, they need to refocus Randy somehow. He's I've, just yes. kind of And I have an idea. Blah. Okay. What's your idea? I have an idea, and I think, I don't know a fan that wouldn't like this idea. Now, we all know Jake the Snake Roberts is undergoing oh, yeah, rehab at the Accountability Crib with Diamond Dallas yes. Page. And he's doing yoga. He's got down to his wrestling weight. Just, I mean, he's my favorite wrestler of all time. So maybe I'm a little impartial, but how amazing would it be if to refocus Randy Orton, to, to refresh Randy Orton, Jake the Snake Roberts, I'm holding a cake pop. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my, if Jake the Snake Roberts, your microphone. Jake the Snake Roberts comes out and becomes the voice of Randy Orton, the snake and the viper teaming like up. It. That would be domination. I like it. Awesome. Interesting. And I mean, Jake, we know one of the greatest wrestling minds of all oh, time God, as well. Are you now that me? he's clear yeah. and sober and. I, I, think had, that, I think that would be amazing. I always had my purple Jake poster on my wall as a little kid, and I uh, remember when I went to order the green Jake the Snake, the classic Jake the Snake T-shirt, and apparently that was the end of the stock, and they sent me this yellow one with Jake's picture on it instead, yeah. instead of the one that said Jake the Snake. I have it. I was pissed off when they got that And one. you can lead I that into it. Jake uh, Hall of Fame next year as well, you know, yeah. 2014. You can move it right, right into there. If he could I mean, stay sober until then, it's a great idea, and it's something they yeah. should do. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he, he was. I mean, Jake is was responsible for that huge era of wrestling. Oh, from he was one of my favorites. Two, yeah. three on. And the thing I always loved about Jake is, you know, you have all these wrestlers. I gotta get right. He never yelled. Slow, quiet, slow, quiet. Donkey. I'm gonna tell you a story about a yeah. rabbit. And I'm gonna yeah. have people calling up and complaining because I'm scaring all your kids. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm that goddamn good. And when he got quieter, he got scarier. It was he get more yeah. scary as he get quieter. Good theme amazing. song, also. Mustache. Mm -hmm. Oh, great theme song. Jake. Uh, Bella's in the back, and they're plugging Total Divas, their new show on the E! Network. Should be exciting as we yeah. get to look into the lives of the WWE Sounds Divas. Sounds like we might be doing an after show for that once it comes out, uh -oh. too. Oh, wow. oh, oh maybe nice. that's going to be hosted by all divas. Yeah. Oh. All the wrestling divas, the divas of After Buzz? Maybe. Uh, I, I, think, I think that would make so sense. So Christian Rosenberg will be there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, taking shots on everyone here today. <laughs> Naomi in the ring with Cameron taking on Brie with Nikki. Uh, match goes on. Nope. Go ahead. Did I just hear something or no? No. I swear I thought I heard something. Twin magic. <laughs> twin magic little switcheroo. Roll up right there. Uh, Brie apparently, or Nikki at that point, apparently getting the win. But the referee decides to reverse the decision and DQ the Bellas after some complaints from the Funkadactyls. And then it ends up in another brawl. Smart yeah, and, and the referee, why, how did he find out? Because they told him, right? Or did I he see know. something? I, I want to know. He, he looked at the cleavage. The, I just love how twin magic is harder to figure out than anything Chris Angel or David Blaine does. <laughs> Every week someone's getting fooled. I don't like yeah. these. I don't like when referees reverse the decision. I, 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 yeah, I just, I, I, I don't like that. I've, it's just like, to me in wrestling, it's just the referee makes a mistake and blah, blah, blah. There's and no they replay. Go out, so yeah, there's no an replay, and they, replay and they walk off. I don't like it's this It's amazing that thing. there is no instant replay when you got a giant. Giant Titan Tron that plays the replays. Like cameras right there. Like at all times. Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends state to state in the athletic commission that you're there with. But uh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I lost my <laughs> was really Back in, uh, losing his headsets. We're losing our mind. If you enjoy listening to what we do, that's reviewing your favorite TV shows and specifically Monday Night Raw for this one. Head on over to iTunes where you could subscribe and then you can rate us with five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars.
right. And then you Five can also frog throw splash. some some beautiful comments our way. Mm -hmm. We all like to hear beautiful comments. We yeah. all like to read nice positive things. And if you don't have something positive to say, throw us some constructive criticism because I think all of us actually take some pride in trying to do better and better each and every single week we come yeah. out here on the microphones. That's right. So go over there, rate, subscribe, comment, tell a friend. It only takes a minute. And when you're done with that, head on over to YouTube.com slash AfterBuzz TV, where you can take a video, uh, look at the video archives. Mm. And also, AfterBuzz TV now streams on the iPads, iPhones, and other various iOS devices, not to mention Android. So you have no excuse, no matter where you're at, you can be tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. It's about time they got that going. Yeah. And as we head into hour two, it's time for the hottest thing in wrestling today. Uh -oh. Sierra. Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Lima Delta, Delta, Shield, Shield. Boom. <laughs> now I, I, I got some tweets. You apparently, okay there, Kathy? apparently yeah. the last few weeks I've been saying <laughs> India instead of uh, excuse me. I've been saying Indio instead Indio. of India. Oh, well, India. So okay. I have been corrected, and I have no problem with being corrected. I was I was unaware on that one. So we now have it correct. Shield comes in the ring, and we start with the fantastic Dean Ambrose on the microphone, who says he's going to bring justice to an unjust world, and that's just what they've done. And then all of a sudden, Seth Rollins, who I used to give him a hard time on his mic skills, he's yep, grown on he's... me week after week. I think he's been great on the mic these last few weeks. He talks about how brick by brick, the wall of injustice has been built and nobody can stop us. Yeah. They stopped Ryback from becoming the champ. They stopped Big Show. They stopped Sheamus. And even the champ himself couldn't stop the Shield. But all of those men were mortal. And last week they took on the immortal. And for years it was all about The Undertaker being the justice of the WWE. And they force fed him justice because the shield bows down to no one. No one. Rest in peace. Roman came through with that big yeah, rest did. in peace right there. <laughs> that really tied it all together. It really did. It was beautiful. <laughs> Justice doesn't care if you're undefeated at WrestleMania. Justice doesn't care if you're the champion. Because when your number gets called, Justice strikes without warning and without mercy. And with that interruption, we're the three-man band. I, dude, I've been calling for them to get aggressive. They almost tried a couple weeks ago. They got crushed. And I was like, when they came out, I was like, good for them. Yeah. All the, right? I love the 3MB. I, they need to get aggressive. They, you know, and they did. They came out and they got aggressive. Sure, they kind of got beat up. The, the, the second, the second uh, Shield was out, the Lacoste was going, 3MB's got to come out next. they got to yeah. come out. Get like, aggressive, uh, good boys. Yeah. As Heath Slater was making his way to the ring, I'll come back to sorry to interrupt you. As Heath Slater was coming to the ring, he's essentially saying, you guys need to chill out and shut up. That's right. <laughs> so he can get his words in. Mic I didn't to cut you off. I was going to say all of 3MB looked like they were about to crack up the entire time that they were walking to the ring. I They're don't know fun. what it was. They're having, having fun. fun. They're, They're having a good hey, time, man. They're having fun. They said that last time they were three seconds from showing Triple H how they rock and roll. And then the shield showed up. And then Jinder Mahal. Well, we what did Ron from Jinder say something about rock your face off? Jinder yeah, said, we're show. going to rock your face. Yeah. That's I want to I want to rock your face T-shirt Ginger Mahal I want to rock your face. It would be awesome. But like ah. yeah, like that would be one of those only shirts where you could get away with the face right there. Oh, you know, like almost like a pet boy thing. The three of their faces <laughs> right there with the, I'm gonna rock your face. That's there true. you go WWE. I love it. That's fantastic. I want that shirt. 3MB gets into the ring. The beatdown starts up. Uh, Shield getting the best of them right from the get-go. And then all of a sudden, we hear the explosion and pyro blast because Team Hell No is making their way to the ring. And at that point, immediately, the Shield started to strategically retreat. I thought that was great. That's right. We don't fight on your yeah, terms. Absolutely. Yeah. Hell no, clears out 3MB. Slater gets choke slammed by Kane. Talk to me, LaQuasto. I said no, the uh, Shield had to get back to the helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Gas, gas is expensive these days. Had to bounce. As this beatdown on 3MB was going on, you got JBL on commentary who threw out the line of, does anybody like 3MB? <laughs> I love 3MB. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh, man. Uh, you can tell. And, uh, we go to the backstage. It, Sorry, go ahead. Something, something. It, was a, it was a really cool shot of the Shield in the audience 
audience and uh, the audience surrounding them is all doing the yes chant. And then when Kane hit the pyro in the ring, Ambrose, you could tell, you could see he mouthed out, he just screamed out an F-bomb. He was like, frick this. <laughs> and like, let's get out of here. I was like, cool. I was he, waiting for Josh to drop the F-bomb because we know how much he likes to drop four letter words on the show. Family show. I'm not going to do that. Even if you know the pyro's coming, I mean, it throws you off. I, I, don't, I just really don't get how yeah. guys make their entrance with the pyro behind them without flinching every single yeah. time. You said that they cut down on the pyro the oh, past few months, but it seemed like there was a lot tonight. Well, there's none in the open. Yeah, they don't do the crazy 20-second because they move that to main they event. They cut all yeah. that. They cut all Del Rio's pyro. They cut a lot of pyro. I mean, there was still a lot pyro. of pyro tonight, though. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, but like not 20, nearly yeah. as much. They used to have a lot of pyro going on. I mean, yeah. they, they've cut it back a lot. Who, who's has been your favorite pyro of all time? Like, the style of pyro. Oh, the, the concussion boy. bomb blaster. I personally like the Nothing rain. Boys. I like the raining, like, the raining sparks. That, I have two. I like those. So I think Arcane. Christian had those and I Christian had, had those. Del Rio Del had them. I love Christians, and I thought Batista's intro with the machine gun was boom, 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 boom. come yeah. on. Uh, what, what, what about uh, Goldberg in the sparks, breathing Absolutely. the smoke yeah. out? That's I mean, not that's, healthy. That no, it's healthy. not. It's not. But at I mean, all. he comes out like the fire breathing yeah. dragon. That was always really cool. Booker T's flames, I always thought were kind of cool. Someday Goldberg's gonna get black along and be like, "You work in the coal mines? Nah, I was a pro wrestler. I had pyro." <laughs> they say a lot of the reasons a lot of wrestlers get cotton mouth in the ring is due to the uh, the smoke effects sure. that, that it generally oh, right. dries them out, mm. uh, pulls the humidity and moisture out of the air, and mm. that would be one of those reasons that they get stuck with some dryness and cotton mouth. That's why Goldberg was always screaming all Fun the time. Fun fact like for that. you right there. Yeah. Boom. Uh, well, I always like Kurt Angle's pyro, too. Remember the yes. red, white, and blue yeah, when you yep. come out? Yeah, that was always I like good. Dudley and then, Boys with the missiles. Dudley Boys was cool, too, <laughs> yeah. Sure. Why doesn't Fandango get his... Yeah, what happened? His trussel was in America. America. Yeah, no truss right there. I mean, did, did, did he get the? Did no. he get? No. How, how, it, how, it was on the. It, it was actually set up for the show. I, I noticed it was? when they went to the wide shot. It was above the ring. Absolutely. Huh. I didn't, but they I don't didn't light notice it. Up. it. I didn't notice a malfunction. It up. So they didn't drop. Maybe, yeah, maybe something. They haven't done it the past couple it. weeks though. But it was well, set up this week. Last, you know, the international they couldn't carry that because it probably doesn't break down. It may be one single piece. But it was set up above the ring today. I didn't actually notice that it wasn't used. Interesting. We go to the backstage area where John Cena is getting his injured. Achilles tendon worked on. Uh, you've worked on my ankle before, because you actually also, aside from the comedy and the wrestling, yeah. do a little PT. Yeah, I'm a physical therapist. I've, uh, I've worked on your ankle. I lost count at this point. <laughs> you did quite the ankle injury, but uh, yeah, when I heard Cena <laughs> injured his Achilles, that's a big concern. That was I mean, Kathy's, Kathy's fault. Really by, that was enjoying, Kathy's fault, by the way. Kathy's really into something about your ankle. I it, was, don't know. it was completely <laughs> Kathy's fault that he broke uh, his ankle. She Tanya Harding me, or Nancy Carey yeah. me, or however you want to describe it. Uh, Ryback <laughs> and Cena back there. Cena's getting it worked on. Ryback comes in and essentially says, you can tape it all you want. It doesn't change a thing. Well, actually, I take that back. Let me do this again. You can tape it all you want. It doesn't change a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was not feeling the Ryback promos today. It, was, so, it felt stiff and like well, even more than normal. So as I watch today, I'm sitting there thinking, I don't know if he is using a teleprompter. I think this could be direction that he's yeah. being told to stare and just lock eyes on I, something. I think they yeah. almost want him to go like almost like uh, crazy, you know, robot, um, Robocop yeah. style. Like, it's just the wrong I'm a destroyer. Angle. Like that kind of, maybe yeah, it's yeah, Today is just, just because yeah. when he came in, he had that same right. stare and I he know, wasn't reading you. anything today because it was two lines no. and he looked at Cena for the second. It's so. a delivery thing. It's, it, a, it's a delivery thing and I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan either. Stylistically, yeah. I'm not, I'm yeah. not well, too it, fond. It's more along the lines of a robot. It's, it's tough because they want, you know, Ryback's supposed to be like a, this machine and like, you know, the this whatever they call him. I forget. What's his nickname? Does he have a nickname right now? The, the, be the Beast? Uh, Ryback Rules. The Ryback, Ryback Rules, yeah. More than, more than O'Doyle. Um, but like, you know, they wanted to be this like this beast or whatever, but then he comes out on TV a couple weeks ago and starts complaining about being left alone, so it's kind of like a contradiction. Yeah. You know, Based you... on Ryback rules, wouldn't it be awesome if someone threw a banana peel on, this, on the stage once and he, <laughs> and he slipped I up? I got a feel you're all going down, <laughs> Ryback. <laughs> uh, Cena re retorts back saying, I'm hurt, I'm not injured, which means that I could still go. And that was that. Yeah. And he was like, not good right, enough. Right back almost <laughs> just feels, it just feels like bad acting almost to me with this. I, and it, like, I liked it. I mean, just tonight. I mean, I liked this promo a couple just weeks tonight, ago. The... I mean, no, it always feels like, but it felt, it wasn't just tonight, but it felt worse tonight. I, like, I, I like yeah. the promo we did. It just, it felt really 
Well, I don't even know I mean, what it's weird because use, but. I thought with Foley a few weeks ago, even though I didn't think the segment made any sense, I thought he was at least decent with yeah. Foley. And it's kind of gone downhill a little bit. Yeah, it was tonight. He was just, I thought he was really bad tonight. I mean, it was, it was just the worst I think I he's, yeah, they, he's they been. Need, he doesn't need to be talking that much. I mean, mm. I don't want to do like as, as little as Brock Lesnar does, like where you have a manager speak for him all the time. But I liked the little promos in the boxes and there were, when there was more mystery to him. It's just like, he's just a machine. He's a predator. And he's going to come and strike at any point, and you don't know. Him doing all this crap in the back uh, with Cena, why, how many, who's telling him to breathe that much? He doesn't need he to was, breathe that much. The breathing hard. is off. He was almost a caricature of himself tonight. You know, they, yeah. like, like Al Pacino's almost since pretty, uh, sent a woman become that character. Like, well, the, you, know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like he's almost become an over, like over the last couple weeks, become way over the top with it and really well, needs to dial it the back. The breathing could be something, and then he could tell you as a pro wrestler and a host, and I could tell you as a host, you know, the breathing thing could just give him an extra second or two to think. I'll, no, I'll tell you, I know exactly what that is. We, had, we uh, back when I used to do the wait, SmackDown wait, wait. show. Clum will tell you exactly no, no, what it is. <laughs> I know, I know. Can, we throw, we, can we throw up the Clum meme on the screen <laughs> for this one? Because uh, we, 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 we had a guest talk about this uh, before Joe Schmo told us exactly how the, the Ryback's uh, snorting thing is. Uh, supposedly Vince Man didn't even know his name or whatever, but he liked the big guy goes. <sighs> And so that's how Vince McMahon would explain him. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> My opinions aren't just opinions. They're facts. That's what that, This is not says. opinion. This was from Joe Schmo, <laughs> who used to write for the shows. And he told us uh, when he came on to SmackDown a uh, good nine months ago that uh, that was the thing that Vince liked about Ryback is that was the thing that stood out was the thing. You know, I like that the guy goes and sniffs. And so that's why he's, you notice he's always sniffing because Vince likes the fact that Ryback sniffs. I think he should get some Afrin. <laughs> Yeah, I think that makes him look more intimidating. I mean, yeah, I mean, it it's, it's, more it, it, I mean, it definitely he does. But that's face, where I came from. Like I, a crazy person. Take the beanie off, dude. And the beanie can, makes him look really. I wish I was. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, we're laughing a lot today. <laughs> this next matchup on the show tonight was probably the best matchup of the night: champion versus champion. Dolph Ziggler versus Kofi Kingston. As they announced we were getting a champion versus championship match, the groan uh, and sighs were heard in our little screening room as we all sit and go. Mostly by club. Uh, yeah. Mostly by club. That means uh. another <laughs> loss for a champion. Yeah. One of those weird things. Why do they keep doing this these last it's month or two? It's frustrating. To me, that's like, two, a, it's like a Saturday night's main event They've been doing that for years. That's what it always was. When you, you know? would have champion uh -huh. versus champion, it was a special event. Yes. It wasn't pay-per-view, yeah. but it was a special event. And the referee would be like Buster Douglas or something. Like, yeah. it'd be a special And, and for yeah. this, too, it was just like, it's champion versus champion. Like, the world title is, like, one of the most prestigious titles there are. And there's, oh, it's just a title versus title, man. Uh, champion versus champion. Uh, it, it, yeah, it. Johnny, no when, you were, when you were a kid, did you go through the newspaper every week when that Sunday paper came and the TV guide came? I, the first thing I'd do would be open it up, look at Saturday, and be like, is main event on tonight? Yeah. Oh, is main event going to be on this week? Oh, is main event going to be on this yeah, week? Yeah, absolutely. TV guide. I mean, I always assumed, you know, you had your wrestling challenge 11, uh, Superstars 10 a.m., wrestling challenge 11, 11 a.m., and then Well, you challenge was on Sundays, and Superstars for me was on Saturdays. We had them, I had them both. In Pennsylvania, we, I had them both on Saturdays for oh, a good chunk of my childhood, gotcha. unless, unless I'm losing my mind, which I'm yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, Losing your what do you call it? mind. It was all syndicated, so it would be area to area. Area to area. Ziggler and Kofi in the ring. Great matchup. Uh, these guys can go. They can go, 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 yeah, go, right go, go. Yeah, they're both nice. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kofi ends up hitting trouble in paradise at one point, and as it looked like it was going to be over right there, once again, AJ in the right spot at the right time, able to drag. Actually, she didn't even drag. She just kind of flicked Ziggler's foot up onto the rope in perfect timing, stopping the count. Kofi goes up top looking for his cross body. AJ interrupts again uh, as he goes for the – actually, he hit that crossbody. AJ interrupts the cover again. Uh, lots of Kofi getting screwed by AJ a yeah. lot can, in this match. Can we say this? I know she's really young in her career. She's, what, 25? Something like uh, that. Aside from stuff in the ring, she hasn't wrestled that much. Can we say she is far and away the best female performer that WWE's ever had? 
No. No. <laughs> no. no we can't. Okay, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Sensational <laughs> Sherry, <laughs> Miss okay. Elizabeth, Rock and Robin, but let's Luna be honest. Oh, okay. Luna Vachon, let's Sable, be honest. Still I mean, go Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, Lita, Molly but, Holly. Okay. No, I'm, I'm talking about in the ring. I'm talking about outside of the ring. Personality. I'm still promos. calling all that stuff. Sherry's Miss great. Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth never spoke. Yeah, but that still, it, her, it didn't matter. She didn't need to. I think we're being a little too nostalgic, everybody. AJ I think it's way good. too early. I, I think, think she's, she's very good. Anywhere close to a top diva of all time. I mean, can, just, 10 years I, from I, now, I, I maybe. Wouldn't, just I wouldn't be getting certain, her Hall of Fame spot ready quite no, yet. I'm just, Not just, quite just yet. Just with certain things. She's great. She's yeah. great. Yes. I agree. She's great. She's great. I'd put her in that sunny category where there's something special about <laughs> but her. But to say the greatest yeah. diva of all time. I'm not saying the greatest diva. I didn't say that. I said best performer outside of the ring. I don't think so. Yeah, okay, no. maybe I'm just being overzealous. I, but I think she's Mickey the best. James she's the best they got right now. Mickey's great. I'm just saying. She's the best just, they have right now. But I, I, I absolutely, I, I agree. I'm not trying to create I'm a, a, a tiff. I'm not trying to create. Look, comes in. Okay. We're like, come on, okay. Look, okay. Look, let's I'm go. Not, I'm not trying to create a tiff. I'm just, you know, giving, giving credit where credit's due. That's all I'm doing. No, I agree. I think she's. I think she's great. I cake pop for her. Yeah. She's awesome. Everyone in the chat world disagrees with you. <laughs> I think she's great, but I I, I think uh, controversy creates cash. Look, I don't think I don't look. think I don't think she's been as great since they took her away from Daniel Bryan of a year course. ago. Yeah. Uh, and that wasn't her fault. That was just storyline stuff. I don't like a lot of what they've done with her. But I think she is a performance phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Kofi misses his little uh, reverse, like, I guess you can call it a springboard splash, uh, springboard 180 splash. Uh, and then Ziggler hits the zigzag for the win right wow. there. Big E comes in and starts working on Kofi Kingston post-match. The hits the big ending, not once, but twice. The move's so nice, wow. he did it twice. I'd love to see <laughs> him change that into the Dominator. That would look so good. Dominator was phenomenal. Mm. Farouk, yeah. baby. Yeah. That would look good. We are the nation of A domination. Nation. The domination. And he can call it the Dominator. Dominator. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I thought overall that you know it was a good match. Uh, a lot of it we've seen before. I felt for a bit of it, but they had the, a long-term feud. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, some of it we were kind of sitting there like, oh, yeah, this is cool. We've seen it before. But I thought at the end the false finishes were. I mean, they really picked up at the end of the match and was was great at the end. I really dug. Have you guys the last twenty percent of the match? Have you guys been feeling this way about Ziggler like recently? Like, I, well, it's probably like most of his career, but it's like. I find that he has a, a kind of lack of offense sometimes. Yep. He has like so many finishers, but he doesn't have these amazing kicks like he's a heel. Punk, Kobe. He's the best athlete. He can make he's everyone a, else look great. He makes everyone look great. It's like it's like Kurt Henning had that too, but he had all that technical prowess as well. What's his last name? Henning. Is there an N in there? It sounds like you're saying an N in there. It's not like Doug Henning's brother. It's oh, Hennig. Hennig. Hen Hennig. Hennig. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. The, the country. He's, he's not related yeah, to we, the magician had... Doug Hennig. <laughs> Excuse me, Doug Henning. <laughs> you, you guys no. are like, who the heck Josh is that? Josh just lost five pageanteers <laughs> with that mispronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> the pageanteers. If I were writing it out, I would have hey, wrote it correctly. Hey, guys, I'm Jamie Double. <laughs> I, mean, I, guess, <laughs> I mean, I guess part of the answer would be on that, too, is he's a heel right now, and he, doesn't, he doesn't do his, the fancy -A stuff aren't the heels. G E T T Pageanteers. Pageanteers. <laughs> we go backstage and AJ's coming to the back with Ziggler and Biggie Langston. They run into Caitlin and Natalia. Uh, another fat joke. Another fat joke. AJ's really? like, oh. mm. yeah, she's she's saying you can't. I don't even remember no the specifically, but jokes. it was about. It, it was, said that she had man arms or something. Yeah. There was something like about that. the about uh, about a big caboose or something too. Yeah. I think or some big like, legs. Can oh a yeah. Can a girl be a professional bodybuilder without getting made fun of? For God's sake. I you heard know? you guys last week. You were talking about you were afraid this is going piggy James uh, territory. That was it feels, awful. Oh. And it feels like it might be. It does feel that way. Yeah, because it's the second week in a in a row they've made fun of her weight. So then one of the stage managers. I don't think in. she's at all. I don't think she's overweight. She's, she's not she's overweight at all. She's, she's, she's just I think a she's monstrous muscular. Yeah, yeah, she's absolutely. unbelievable. Come yeah. on now. No I mean, fat. her legs Incredible. are like this with no fat on it. Yeah. It is yeah. just pure power pushing muscle. She's yeah. a stud. <laughs> That's why they sometimes refer to him as I don't mean that. Legs. I mean, like, stud is a... What do they call her? A water, they call her a water buffalo, right? That's what she said. Now, she is a water buffalo water fat, buffalo. or is it just a big, powerful, strong... I mean, obviously, it's not supposed to be nice. I don't think anything that has the word nice. buffalo in it is good. good yeah, but hey, I, mean, I come from the town it... Buffalo Grove, and I'm good, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, what the? <laughs> yeah. This is one of those shows today. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't like any kind of fat joke. Stage manager comes in carrying a gift. AJ automatically assumes it's a gift for her from Dolph, but nope, nope. This one's for Caitlin. She opens it up and pulls out a spiked leather studded hat. Yeah. Should have been a My Little Pony in there. Matches the bracelet that she was wearing. And Natalia, the best was Natalia was like, ew, that's disgusting. And then she was like, no, this matches my bracelet. I right, love it. Right. And then she's like, oh, is there a note? Is there a note? She pulls out a little note right there. And it's essentially a love letter saying, I'm falling more and more in love with you each day. Uh, and just always know someone out there thinks you're beautiful. <laughs> Biggie. We all think it's Biggie. I, 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 it should be <laughs> My Little Pony. That'd be yeah. awesome. Um, whoever, actually, or yeah. Demolition from Axe. Axe from whoever Demolition. it is knows where. <laughs> whoever like Axe Smash. Whoever it is crush. knows how to get Rockefeller gear for sure. You know what they should yeah. do? They I don't should know go if to. I understood that joke. Oh, Rockefeller. You know the hat with the studs on. It's a very hip hop hat. That's what I was going for. Mm. That was a hip hop hat. I thought that was more Stuts? of like a punky hat. I, I, really? don't know. I don't know any rappers who wear hats like that. That sounds a little YMC. It looks a little YMCA to me. Uh, it looks pretty, dude, exactly. <laughs> that, that's hip hop right now. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm in the streets. I know. All right, man. Um, <laughs> he's keeping it real. That's why he's still Johnny from the block. So one thing I, I actually want to mention on. Uh, so when Caitlin and AJ were doing their little. Don't little be fooled by the rocks that he's got. Go ahead. When Caitlin and AJ were there doing their little back and forth, uh, and you, you probably have written down exactly what uh, Caitlin said to AJ about you beat me a couple times, uh, and she starts to complain about it. We talked about this in the room. Said a little during bit. that battle royal, there was various amounts of interference. The only reason and, why you won. And yeah. Right. Blah 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 blah. That I, I've got a problem with the baby face doing that. I know. I know you're gonna <sighs> do it, but. The good guys aren't supposed to complain about that. That's what heels do. That how you're supposed to get behind these people. They're supposed to be the heroes. They're supposed to be the people that you get behind and fight and do the right thing. When they're complaining and making a whole bunch of excuses and sour milk, well, you only beat me because of this. It's not a very heroic thing to do. I've got a problem. With, I, I, I think that's, once again, we talking about writers in the back who don't understand wrestling. He's they're got 99 problems out. and excuses are one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know what I... It, it, Am I wrong? Uh, John Cena would never make excuses. That's you know? right. He'd come back and he'd fight despite the unsurmountable Absolutely. odds that you he's got to overcome. You would never hear John Cena say that, ever. You would never hear any any decent babyface. And I'm not saying it's Caitlyn's fault. You only because... won because I had a bad year last year. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't, he, he, he didn't make excuses. You only won. The, I mean, it, it was, but the way he did it was differently. She was um, making a joke. It was I know. I, it was good. It was, it, was, it was very good, Kathy. <laughs> like, no, I, I, I got it. I, I got it. And Clums, made a good point. Clums finishing a point right now. Yeah. How dare Kathy I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> How dare um, Kathy put a funny in Clums' point. That go was, ahead, that was very good. Um, my jokes aren't fact. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so I, I have uh, issues with uh, with that. And once again, to me, that is not probably Caitlyn doing that. She was probably handed a script and told, "This is what you say." And sure. right there what is. What are you doing? I was, <laughs> I was thinking what is, about what is this? I was thinking about telling uh, Johnny over here to maybe put the push pop down. I'm I'm because he's making me nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start eating. pageting right now. What's wrong with the? I'm holding. What's, why is it nervous? It's covered up. I'm not going to do anything with it. Raven texted me and said, "Tell him to put it down." <laughs> oh, I, I, I love that we get texts during the show, and you actually, guys actually take I, the time to read them. I, I, actually, I, I, someone I, I, in the uh, someone in the Afterbus TV TV chat room wants to know where your MPW Maximum Championship is. <laughs> it's we were actually mantle. talking about that. I, I, I've been having some busy days. I've been in a hurry as I've been coming. I just forget. I don't keep it in my car, oh. so I, I, I forget that. Maybe it's should. been like a month since I've brought it. You might in. be losing that, right? Uh, I'm not oh, going to lose oh, that. I don't even think the title's on the line in this match. Line, it's it? just my career on the line. So what happens if you? lose and it, it, does the title I'm just go I'm not going to lose Clum will come to that when we don't come to it because it's not going to be needed to be come to yeah no as owner of MPW, yes. I don't even know the answer. Yes, that was awful English, Kathy. Oh, that's yes, right. I, I, I forgot we have the owner of MPW <laughs> in here today. <laughs> that's because he made all this money from the thumb wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Let's move on. <laughs> I forgot about Triple that. Triple H and Brock Lesnar recap package. And then we go to the back where Vicky Guerrero and Brad Maddox are hanging out. Maddox are hanging out. Uh, Ryback walks in. And he's only going to say this once. Cena's left me alone for the last time. 
Uh, and then Bricky is like, she somehow sets up a match. It's going to be Shield versus Ryback and Team Hell No. Mm -hmm. Ryback rules. Been there. Done that. Yeah. No. <laughs> Call the shots, Ryback. Call them. Whoa. <laughs> and then he walks out. That was the worst. worst that was line like of the that night. was like a Vine video where like you were skipping ahead in time. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. Done that. Ryback rules. What the hell just happened? <laughs> <laughs> if that wasn't enough, now we go to the Domino's commercials. So if you guys didn't know how the pizza tracker works on Domino's. Oh, that worked so well on me because I wanted pizza afterwards. I love the, the pizza tracker. is pretty awesome. That was the best. It is pretty awesome. However, best commercial. The, the tracker did show us that it's slow. It's confusing. <laughs> and it delivers the pizza to the wrong people. <laughs> So I don't know if it's good or not. Yeah. I mean, the driver was. And thank God they didn't let Jerry Lawler eat at this. You know, last yeah. time we, hey, he you was. Want pizza, Jerry? What was a uh, was it Sonic they yeah. were getting last Sonic time? Sonic popcorn chicken. It's like, dude, that's not good for your heart. <laughs> Jerry Lawler's just going down on fast food and uh, on raw every dude, week. The physical <laughs> therapist in me cringes when I see Jerry Lawler hawking fast food. I'm like, dude, you had was that not scary enough for you? What are you doing? It was. Weird. He like, had sabotage him or something. And he had like ago, uh, right? one of the scariest heart. Yeah. They said, yeah. like, what is it, one out of 96 people or something crazy survived that. Yeah. Like, the only reason you survived it because there happened to be, like, world-class physicians five feet from him. Yeah, he five. was on live TV. If he was yeah. anywhere else, yeah. He would have been dead. He would think. Uh, let's get a lot of fast food endorsements <laughs> and shove it down his let's, throat. Let, let's not be Monday. putting fast food in front of the guy at the, at the table he almost died at. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little crazy. Well, well he didn't get it this week. No, thank thank God they delivered it to the, to the kids in the front row. Yes, they did. Yeah, Jack Swagger taking on the serious Jack, Jack Swagger. Swagger. He's serious now because Jack Swagger. His hair is different. Do we have his hair is different. He's got no headband, and now even though he says. Oh, woo, woo, woo. You oh know that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Even though he says it, he's much more focused, think, he's much more serious, and I think he wants to show the WWE Universe that he's the real deal and he can be taken seriously. Right. I think Kathy Kelly's play, paying off the engineer tonight. Yep. Zach comes down he and he's me. telling him he wants to show the audience all about Zeb's loss earlier in the night. Then he starts the match, gets in the ring. The big highlight moment for me in this match was when Ryder was coming off the ropes. Swagger hits a tilt-a-whirl, tilt-a-whirl into the gut wrench power bomb. Mm -hmm. Locks in the ankle lock for the finish. The Patriot lock. I always see yeah, the Patriot act. Yeah, the Patriot lock. Patriot, Patriot, the Patriot, Patriot act. act. That'd be Patriot great if it was called the Patriot that act. <laughs> it is the Patriot act. Well, Patriot <laughs> lock, they call it. Patriot lock. Oh. What? Aw. I thought it was the Patriot Act. I thought it was the better. Patriot Act, too. I thought it was the Patriot Act, too. I, I could be wrong. What, what's, I'm what's, Googling. It doesn't Bing. matter, but I think it's <laughs> what's, what's the uh, chat? Bing.com, everybody, for <laughs> everything you need for information. Bing is for doing, and we're doing a live search yeah. right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Googling uh, Patriot Act because I'm sure. And he did another cool move, too. What was it? He, like, modified He modified his else. spine buster where yeah. it was kind of like a hybrid spine buster power slash power slam. slam. Yeah, he picked up and flipped them over. It Good was, night it was in really the cool. ring for Swagger. He looked strong yeah, and power. dominant. I like some Here of this stuff. Here we go. There we go. Uh, ah. <laughs> da. <laughs> We're early. Da. Over the ropes, Zeb <laughs> Coulter walks up and starts giving Zack Ryder a piece of his mind. He doesn't like being humiliated like that video clip showed. And then, boom! Right hand by Zeb Coulter punching Zack Ryder. Just kind of adding a little insult to yeah. injury right there. It's interesting, Zach, uh, no, sans glasses, sans headband the last couple weeks. We're trying to take this guy seriously. Yeah. I think he wants to have a renewed push and wants to become relevant once again. He needs it. With a million followers, I think he's got that fan base and support behind him. He just needs to get the brass there. And I don't know how the brass isn't trying to feel like they're like, this guy should be like, this guy's got a million Twitter followers. We need to figure something out to do with this guy. I, th I, th yeah. I think he's going to be okay kind of changing sure, the yeah. shtick. I think getting rid of I the do do. getting rid of the Long yeah. Island, getting that's going to be a good positive. I want to see him get a good. mean streak. That's what I want. I want Zach Ryder to get a mean streak. Yeah. So I binged it. Okay. And... It turns out that it's called the Patriot Lock and the Patriot Act. Oh, oh. so we're all right. Split decision. 
Bing.com will always say you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Stryker is in the back, and the best was as we went to this because we came back from commercial. They started with the freeze frame of Stryker as he was getting ready for this. So, like, for like eight seconds on the screen, yeah. we just see Stryker like this. <laughs> <That's pretty awesome. laughs> and then it kicks in. Stryker tries to get a comment from Ryback, but Ryback's not having it. He walked out. He's walking out of the building. With a new leather jacket. Yeah. It's awesome. Kinda, it's kind of Santino Brothers like. You're, you're leaving work, you're fired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try firing that guy, yeah. yeah. Starting up hour number three with Mark Henry coming then to you're, the then ring. You're, then you're fined. Yeah. There. He doesn't need your approval. Oh. Oh, yes. Let's go 3-6 Mafia. This, in my opinion, is the best music like for someone's character. Like When this yeah. hits, this yeah, matches his character so well. I got the hype man for 3-6 Mafia. Yeah? They called me the White Flavor Flav. Damn right. You're better than that. Come on now. <laughs> Henry's in the ring, and the crowd starts booing him, and he says, I don't need your approval, but tonight I'm going to prove I'm the strongest man. Because he's got a rope with him, and it's tug of war time. And not only is he going to take on one, but he's going to make it a handicap and take on two. So if any of these superstars want to come out from the back, and then we get a little uh, Funkadactyl, we get a little Brodus Clay music, but it's not Brodus Clay, it's Sweet T making it. Right. Somebody about to get the. What's his second line? Somebody about to get their wig split? Yeah. Wig split, okay. That means, that means a pop, yeah, pop, yeah. pow in the brain. Lick a shot, Johnny. Lick a shot. Gangster Laquasto over there. Tug of War yeah. is not so gangster. Pop, 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 pop. He's got a gangster rap album. Do you? <laughs> no. It's, it's a comedy album that has some, some it mocks hip hop. Don't, don't, yeah. don't you have a grill on the cover? Oh, I do have a grill on the cover, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it, mo it mocks a lot of things in hip hop. Uh, first matchup in this tug of war, easily Mark Henry able to pull Sweet Tea across the line. I wish they would have done this on the stage with like some sort of mud moat. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attitude era, they definitely would have had that. After that, Brodus Clay comes on. Brodus fares a little better, but not too much, because once again, pulled over the line by the world's strongest man. Finally, Sheamus makes his way to the top of the stage, and he's ready to come in for That's action. Fair. He was only supposed to go against two guys, right? And Sheamus comes out and crashes the party. Sheamus actually says that. He says, I know you were only counting on wrestling two guys, or, 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 or competing. Tug competing against yeah. two guys. <laughs> tug of warring. <laughs> competing against two guys, but how about you make it three? And then what I didn't like was actually Henry was kind of shaking his head no in the ring. Yeah. Whereas as the world's strongest man, he should have been like, all right, let's do it. Come bring on down. On, bring it on, white boy. Absolutely. He's a heel, though, so. Uh, but still. I, I hear you. He, I hear you. He should be the badass Like, you had the issue with no, no, Ryback leaving in that Same. show. I have I more of an issue, issue. Yeah. With, with Henry shouldn't back down from him. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I mean, that's his the gimmick. He is, is the a, world's strongest man. Yeah, and he'll. And Ryback is a machine, but he is the world's no, right. strongest man. He puts people in the Hall of, uh, hall the hall of pain. pain, and he just destroys people. Absolutely. I'm not scared of no man. Absolutely. Tug of war is going on. They're each trying to get the leverage. They're each trying to pull. I actually liked when as Mark Henry was pulling, he lets go with one arm and mm -hmm. kind of extends yeah. all the way for that big pull right there, using the latissimus dorsi muscles oh, right wow. there. Gorilla Ooh. Monsoon would be proud right yeah. there, using those muscles. And just as he had his pulling and he's leaning back, Sheamus lets go. Mark Henry falls on his butt, and as he gets up, boom! Bro kick puts him back down again. We all saw that coming a mile away, but Absolutely. I still, but I still liked it. I mean, it was it was the right ending for that, and it was fun for it, a weird segment to to start the third hour. But it still, was because normally cool. you start the third hour with something very very big. Yeah, usually the, this this whole well, show kind of felt was like pretty big. Big guys, yeah, like yeah, but something I mean, more important. I yeah, say. this this yeah. the whole show kind of just felt like the middle of hour two to me this week. The whole show just kind of felt that's like... That's a good right from the beginning, because you said it started as yeah, if they were coming into hours. It, it really felt like that. It, it, it was just a weird weird night. Not, it wasn't terrible all night, but there was just, yeah, it was kind of I didn't hum. hate it, yeah, but it was... Yeah, neither did I, yeah. Weird. Mm -hmm. felt, it, felt, it felt weird. There was something off tonight, but it wasn't awful. I'm pretty off tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel off tonight, too. I gotta commend, man. You know, we all make these jokes. We all got our little fans online who believe certain things. We got the Scottish Shield who believes that Josh Paget equals ratings. The that, that Josh needs to push. Push Josh. <laughs> the push Josh. That's, I'm pushing him, Shield. I'm pushing him. Hashtag Pageteers. Well, well, this is for the Shield. Hold on. Maybe he was born with it, or maybe it's That's Maple That's for you, Shield, right there. No 
talk of her job. <laughs> look at the little. Oh, look yeah, at. Look oh. at. Are you wearing? Are you wearing lip liner right there? You got a little gloss on. Yeah. What, what, what's it? I, maybe um, is this the, your pretty boy pic? I love it. Yeah. yeah. So wait, are these are these the memes that were sent in? No, 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 no. I think these are being made on the fly. Oh, that was on the fly. Okay. Steven's making these on the fly. No, the reason. Well, mine was definitely on the fly. The reason I brought it up was I gotta say that Clum was gone last week, and if you take a look at our YouTube numbers, they were very low this week. So I, I gotta say, oh, I don't Kelly know if it's a coincidence. <laughs> Different. Clum. I, I, Clum I, I, I don't know. May not equal ratings, but Clum equals views. Mm. Yeah. I, and I enjoyed last week's episode. Thanks, Johnny. I'm Johnny all, preferred it without me. Yeah, Johnny preferred it without me. I it was a half hour shorter without me because I, I wasn't there I, to talk. I, right? I, yeah, well, I mean, you know, I, I thought it was delightful. <laughs> <laughs> We could delightful. We Ka go back. Cassie took my seat. We go, yes, she did. Seat stealer. We go to the backstage area once again. Brad Maddox, Vicky, Team Bricky there with Team Hell No. Uh, and they inform Hell No that it's going to now be a handicap yeah. match again. So while we were watching, Johnny says, Whoa, 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 stop talking. Brad is on. No, I said, whoa, 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 rewind that. Turn up the volume. Brad Maddox is about to speak because I wanted to hear what he had to say. You the big That's Brad right. fan? Absolutely. You and Absolutely. Kathy Kelly have something in common. This is the, the Brad look, section. Look, right I, as, I like anyone who's different and who's not afraid mm -hmm. to throw some random stuff out there. And Brad Maddox, like you him. don't know what he's going mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. And and his, his mannerisms, even if like, they're a couple seconds off, they're a couple seconds perfectly funly off. Did you see his mm -hmm. in-the-ring promo? When, when he did a, made an in the, in the ring match against Cena and CM Punk on Raw. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Raw active stuff is The Raw hilarious. active stuff, yeah, yeah it was incredible. Oh, the Raw active this past weekend, he did one with Striker where he, he was doing an English accent. And oh, just I missed broke that. Off I heard it was Australian. Could, Striker yeah. couldn't. He started cracking up. Yep. Like, he started yeah. going, oi! And he's like, that's not... That's not English. What do you What do you do? He's like, he just lost it. It was great. Yeah, those those striker and Maddox uh, interact or raw active things are brilliant. So Maddox is awesome. That, yeah. that's all there is to it. He's an incredibly talented guy. That's all he's got to say about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vicky tells Brad, "There's one more thing I need you to do," and Brad looks a little upset that he's got to do it. Uh, and then Brad tells Cena, but Brad goes to tell Cena that he's going to be uh, not going to be in the match tonight, and Cena's like, "Nope." Or Cena's like, yes, I am. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, it's, uh, bop, bop, bop. I am so, going to. Uh, yeah. bop, bop. Del Rio versus Antonio Cesaro. And in today's performance, Cesaro is already in the ring. We get no yodel. You do it better than him. Thank you. That's pretty good. <laughs> He's just becoming a carpenter, isn't he? A carpenter? Yeah, a guy who builds up other dudes. Ah! That's, a, that's an old school yeah. term. The Jesus oh, of yeah, wrestling. That, that's, I get that from Rick. Rick uses that all the time. Okay. Who's in the but Jesus of wrestling? I do. <laughs> uh, throughout this match, it was pretty cool because Del Rio, as usual, targeting the arm, uh, doing two things in this match. Not only setting up for the cross uh, arm breaker, but trying to actually take away that European uppercut from mm, Cesaro. Smart. If he can make, you know, if a man can't, can't lift that yeah. arm, he's got no offense right there. Uh, it doesn't work out necessarily that way. Was he working on both arms or just the... I think he was working both a little bit. Was it okay? I'm wrong. You're right. Because he'd right. be As pulling say, the left, yeah, but right. he'd be throwing with the right. So and when he, whenever he does the arm bar, it's the arm bars the on the left. Yeah, maybe he was just setting up the arm bar. I was just trying to. Look. Maybe I was looking at it and reading into it a little differently. You could be right about that. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised both. though, because I've seen him. I mean, I've talked about this match before, but there, I mean, we, there was a match where he wrestled Kane, where he worked the leg to get Kane down, so he could then start to work the arm. So he does do stuff like that. Uh, some interesting moments. Uh, Del Rio goes for the cross arm breaker, countered right there uh, by Cesaro, but then once again, counter was countered by Del Rio, and he does lock it in. As Cesaro was crawling and trying to get to the ropes, he just couldn't get far enough. I like that. Tapping out. That. I mean, I don't like him always losing, but I, you know, he's trying to get to the ropes and can't quite get there, so he's got to tap instead of risk uh, the broken arm and fight another, live to fight another day. Post-match promo, Del Rio and Rodriguez in the ring talking about the stipulation and the fact that they get to make the choice. And they essentially say, we're going to like this. And they make a little symbol because the stipulation will be a ladder match. Uh, we go to climb like this and not climb like this. <laughs> That's basically what he said. I think in Extreme Rules, Ricardo Rodriguez, excuse me, Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger versus Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match. Fantastic. I'm pretty excited about yeah, that. Yeah, that's one. gonna be a good one. 
Godspeed, and you know, Zimmer, Godspeed. And you know, Ricardo and Zeb are going to get into it, too. That'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ricardo will probably end up climbing the ladder and doing you, a big bump. Well, you got Ricardo, you got Zeb, you got AJ and Big E. Boom. All, all out there. Yeah. So that'd be cool. So there's a, a lot of sh a lot of shenanigans can be going on in that one. Hoopla. You guys got your dancing shoes on? What? My are we calling? No, I got my I only got sandals on. <laughs> you got sandals on? Yeah, I got my dancing sandals though. We'll see which music Steven hits right here because uh -oh. it can go either way, and it's time to start off a dance party right now uh -oh. because right in the middle of the ring, it's time for a dance off. <laughs> I prefer swaggering. This is so much better than swaggering. No way. You're just so European. <laughs> Kali, great Kali in the ring, along oh. with Fandang. Here we go. Everybody up. Here we go. The Kali Calypso. All right, so Jerry Lawler's in the ring, and before the dance-off happens, there's a little interview going on, and he asks Kali the first question about dance experience, and Kali says, I'm dancing. We have, none of us have any clue. Yeah. This man needs a talk show. I know. He needs so his own mean. talk show. Let's just call it Kali. And, and then they follow up with the second question, and it's even more it's a, like, amazing. inaudible than the first question, and you see Lawler's kind of laughing and doesn't even know Kali's what to do. laughs, too, actually. Kali like, I love laughs. when Kali Look, laughs at himself. It'd be a great talk show. Kali and then his Andy Richter will be Hornswoggle in a little suit. Absolutely. Where was Hornswoggle? Oh, he wasn't there today. Yeah, there was no horny tonight. Huh. Uh, but that, that would be that would be perfect and just a guest trying to figure out what he's saying to them and just have so him funny. asking all these questions. And then Hornswoggle just do random stuff like just bring cupcakes to the guests. <laughs> no, that's yeah. my thing. That's gimmick yeah. infringement. That's right. Yeah, don't mess with her cupcakes. The third She's going to beat up uh, Misha Tate for that. Oh. The third question that Lawler asked Kali is what did you think of Chris Jericho on Dancing with the Stars? I better than him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> but then, but then uh, Lawler ends up asking Fandango, Fandango, the same question. What do you think about Chris Jericho on Dancing with the Stars? And he says, in a word, clumsy. <laughs> Kali was so I much more entertaining yeah. than Fandango. I, I, actually, I, 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 like, I love Johnny Curtis. And, Curtis. I like Can we the get clumsy. into the Summer Ray thing? Did you guys talk about I, Summer no, Rae? No, I wanted to talk about We did week. talk about it last week. Chat Earl was hating on me because I want to explain again, I love Summer Ray. I think she's amazing. She was great on NXT. She I don't is. think she's that she's good in this role. She's exactly. terrible in this role. I should have made her name Summer's Eve. The, 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 uh, no. The, the, she's always fresh. I, I, I have a problem with just taking people and jamming them in somewhere because, like, oh, we want to get this person on television, so we'll just let's just stick them in I something. Mean, she, they did that with Big E to TV, me. But like, Absolutely. Her, her personality is ready for a, She could be her own she's entity. She's not a dancer. She could be with Why? any other guy yeah. on the roster. Why would they choose him? Or and just, or just, he had an amazing dancer. Yeah. A real an dancer. An amazing dancer. Because that, there was an opportunity for a girl to be used yes. and they wanted to bring use her one up. of their girls. Yeah. So it'll be a short time thing and eventually she will transition into something I, else. But it, was, it was the only opening just to kind of bring and her up. And she's going to help away. Fandango win some matches too. I would assume They so. could and create an really opening tight. for her yeah, somewhere else. I, 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 absolutely. You could have put her some somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, well, it, tougher to do because they're not looking to put her into diva storylines at this point. They're still kind of doing a slow build. So it's not that they're going to make a spot and then have her get lost in the shuffle of the me, divas. They're still making her seem somewhat important that she's with an important wrestler. It does build her value and credibility until they're ready to actually I understand use all that, but she can't dance. Yeah. She doesn't look like a dancer, so it kills yeah. the gimmick and to me. And he really and needs it's just a good going, dancer because yeah. he's not that uh, great a dancer. He's not. Yeah. Here's the thing, Which is, by the way, shame on him but, for the last six months not spending all that, those days off on, on taking dance well, lessons. He might if be he, taking classes. Maybe, you he don't was, know that. maybe he wasn't, but if he hasn't well, been, shame on him. Here's I, the yeah. thing, though. It doesn't appear like he was, but I could be wrong. If Summer Rae was there right from the beginning, it wouldn't be so obvious what a bad yes. dancer was, but like, you know, I my ex-girlfriend's a, a ballroom dancer, so you can tell a great dancer versus mm -hmm. someone who doesn't. So they had these legit ballroom dancers coming out for the first month with him, then all of a sudden, Summer Rae, you see such the disparity. It's 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 know? incredible. You can, uh, yeah, uh, 
and somebody we who doesn't know anything about dancing we were could tell critiquing that. some of the the professional dancers that were coming out oh that girl was great this week this one not so much and then to have summer ray who's not a dancer yeah. come out and do this it's just it doesn't work and i understand the reason like what, what you said why their thought process is but that's still nearsightedness to me that's this same problem we have with people's they can't see four or five steps down the road because um, i gotta be honest this, that's just and my she's gonna be opinion. sitting here if we had her on she'd be yeah. saying thank you God, they did this because I don't want to sit oh, down there for oh, another six and, months. And, oh, I'm not hating on her at all. And as I said to Kathy, she, she's taken the role that she was given, and she's got to run Wasn't with it. Wasn't she only I in mean, developmental for like two years? She did commentary only, for I mean, a while. Oh, and it's, a then, time. it's a long but, time. Yeah. But she wasn't training. She was on commentary. Like, she was sitting at the desk. She's still training as a wrestler. She yeah. just wasn't used as a wrestler, as a wrestler on the yeah. shows. She was still going to practices. But mm -hmm. this, you know, this is the WWE. This isn't Dance with the Stars. And have you guys ever thought that this could be part of the joke is that these two people, yeah. we, we've never right, seen neither Van Van Gogh be able to dance. Good he's point. never, he's always been like, yeah, I'm a dancer. Right. He all his one little how you say that, my name. You, that's, you can't but, dance. But, but that's, that's a great point. That's not really, and, and that's you can with the, this like they do with the yodeling. But to me, that's not what they're doing. If they went that way, that's not obviously what they're doing. They're trying to push him off as a dancer to me. Not They're not making yeah. him like, oh, this is a bad dancer, and he just thinks he's great. They're they're trying to push him as a – they even talked today about his his background and ballroom and all that stuff. So they're trying to push him like he is a, a actually can dance. Yeah, but he, they do the same moves every night, whether it was with a, a great they do. professional ballroom dancer or Summer Rae. It's the same stuff. These two have a lot better chemistry. They know each other. They love each other. You can tell how much Johnny Curtis found out he was always touching her, kissing her up in London all I the time. I would too. And look, she got, <laughs> she's got legs for days. Uh, this, they don't call him Dirty Curtie for nothing. Yeah, this is this is like a good-looking <laughs> couple. This is this is your new I don't like know. first lady and, and no. first man of, of I felt like of WWE. <laughs> but it, it's the not the correct casting. I I I just I I disagree. The past bit. few weeks we've only been doing it two weeks now guys mm -mm. we'll but see where it goes the past few weeks like the dancer that he had for six consecutive weeks or pretty much all throughout the east coast tour was amazing in that she had a little bit of heel in her and she wasn't mm -hmm. completely all over him i feel like summer is just looking at him the entire time which makes her look uncomfortable it, she, it she makes is. her look uncomfortable, a uncomfortable. not confident in herself It's because she's worried about she having to do another how to split. dance, really. It's because she's worried well. about having I mean, to do another split. Those yeah. same <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Then she the, she oh, does not one. look happy doing some no. of that stuff. No, they're not comfortable. No, it's like, I, yeah. I mean, I don't do splits. I'm saying I would, I would assume <laughs> they're not comfortable. I mean, you know. Yeah, you can you can uh, you can guess. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That's what she's worried about. She's looking at him like, oh god, I have to do another split. Like I feel like all seconds. the divas yeah. have to do splits. Oh, I got to bring up uh, Scott Hall tweeted during that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Well, we uh, haven't gotten to that. So uh, so. At oh, the I'm sorry. End of the Go match, ahead and I'll, I'll pull that. So, up. so Kali ends up winning the uh, dance off. So if we can actually bring that one back up for a little quick one, Kali wins the dance off, but but Fandango, not too happy about that, attacks Kali, uh, hits his new finishing move. Uh, he's yeah. gotten rid of last week's finisher, which was a new finisher. Now how uh, does that how does that oh, work oh, with oh, you? Or a new setup move? No, he he hit a uh, just a Russian leg sweep. Russian La leg sweep. Last week he had a new finisher. He did he right. did the Bray Wyatt. Move. Yeah, the Bray Wyatt, and he's done that a couple so, times. So, so this week they dropped that, that, and he went into a, a, a Russian leg sweep. Which Why is, is he doing that? Okay, so so let me say, well, he was just went back to the other finisher. No, because he still set it up as if it was the, what do you call it? As if but it was the it, dip it was and then go. Okay. Into a Russian leg sweep. But could that just be because it's an eight-foot-tall guy as opposed no, no, to There's it. a chance he, of that. He, that's, he, that's he, did, what it on, he did it on SmackDown against Santino oh. as well. That was where he debuted it. It was on Friday. He did the Russian leg sweep, but came out of it like in a springboard and landed on his feet afterwards. And oh, did okay. Very cool odd, because it's Sandow's move. Because Sandow's move. Sandow's move. Sweep. That's exactly that, Sandow. Yeah. So let me ask you, like, would Bray Wyatt, did he stop doing that perfect finisher that Bray Wyatt does it's perfect for Fandango. Did 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 Husky Hair like did Bray Wyatt tell? I don't him, like, think he's yeah. got the juice to go make a comment. Yeah, like no, that. I mean but, he's but, down but in management NXT, made, so, yeah. How do decisions get made like that? The one thing I would imagine is that it seems like Wyatt is on the potential future, you know, soon to be called up list, and being that that is his move, maybe that's why that management that said, hey, we got some plans yeah. that we're going to be bringing him. And we already know it works. We've been trying this out for the last couple well, of months. Do do that. I know week. when Sandow was maybe doing... they didn't realize and he worked something out right. You know, he might have worked something out with two of the agents on their own and they didn't even realize. Yeah, you, like, know. Okay. you know when Sandow was doing the cartwheel for a while? I know someone else down in NXT was doing it and they pulled it from that person. I know that like they will do that sometimes. Take something that someone else is doing and uh, pull it away from them and give it yeah. to somebody else. Fandango oh, yeah. ends up going up to the
the top and hits a huge top rope leg drop, clearing more than half the distance of the ring. Uh, more like Kali was on the opposite side of the diagonal of those ring posts. That is a huge, huge jump, and not only a huge jump, the precision and accuracy as he landed that perfectly today. It was beautiful. That was a gorgeous, gorgeous move, yeah. and now with that, we can go to Scott Hall's tweet. Bro. Yeah. So Scott Hall wrote, uh, after that, he wrote, hey, yo, Fandango, great segment. Get a new finish, buddy. I see hip replacement in your future. He's right. That's the first thing I thought. As, hey, uh, as a physical therapist, I watch him do that leg drop, and who knows how many times a month he's doing it. Yeah. Look, regardless, you could land perfectly. Man, you are just putting your hip in so much danger. And it's I, funny you guys say it, because I, I mean, my whole opening career, I used to do tons of top rope leg yeah. drops. I love doing them. I got a big, fat bubble butt that just absorbs that impact. I've never had any I, discomfort in my hip, leg, butt, or anything from doing those ever in my life. Hogan just drop, you know, obviously, you know, every night would just drop the, the leg drop, and I've seen him say if he had it to do over again, he would have switched his finisher. He wouldn't have, have done it because he had the hip replacement. He had a lot of issues. Because he's had a lot in of Hogan's surgery. era, like they were three inches shorter. Now. In well, they Hogan's were doing it five, era, six nights a week, and they were doing it in boxing rings a lot of the You're times. Right. Very too. true. There's a huge difference. Very in true. That. Yeah. Very true. Different rings. Because, because I, I, mean, I, I believe me, Hogan, Hogan has tore up and beat up his body. Yeah. But it's funny for me. Well, I right. sit and I and I wonder how. Just when you look at Hogan's style of wrestling from back then, it's like how did he put so much damage on his body when really. The he wasn't taking thing, any bumps, really. The biggest thing he ever took was a body slam or a suplex. Yeah. I mean, Hogan wasn't ever going off the top I mean, on you suplexes remember, or anything like genetics that. Genetics have, I mean, we're, we all have different genetics. <clears throat> That's a, you know, some people are prone to osteoarthritis. Some people are prone to all different types of medical conditions. So Hogan's I, body, he's so big. And, he and was, that's it. He's over he 300 in, pounds. Yeah. It's, a lot of, it's a lot of mass on the body he was the, the most busy out of anyone there, like, by a huge margin. He was probably getting very little sleep. So his body was probably just, like, always Not able to at recover. a vulnerable mm -hmm. point. Yeah. And, and, then, and then probably because it was stiffer rings and boxing rings and other variants. And let us not forget the stuff he was d using, whatever supplements you want to call it, whatever steroids, you know, that made him stronger. <laughs> that supplements. doesn't mean his body... And you his, mean his vitamins, brother? Yeah, his vitamins. Yeah. Sorry, and, and the prayers. <laughs> uh, doesn't mean his joints knew what the hell was going on. You know what I mean? He was putting a lot of excess pressure on his joints. He should have thrown some can. glucosamine in that vitamin that's cocktail. Right, that's right. <laughs> Maybe some right. chondroitin <laughs> and MSN. Roger. Right before them prayers. <laughs> MSM. I just got a uh, tweet here from Clay Robertson asking me how often do people tell me that I look like Cassius Ono. I'm wow. getting that quite a bit yeah, actually Cassius. these days. Cassius. Cassius. I always Just say Cassius. Like Cassius Clay. <laughs> okay. It's I supposed to be a Muhammad Cassius. Ali reference. I'm sorry, in that you're right point. with the KO. But it's spelled differently than Cassius Clay, I'm, 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 having, I'm having a day, man. <laughs> I hear it. I hear it. I'm having <laughs> a day. Oh, you came in fire like this I, when you walked into the room. You're like, ah, yeah, screw all of you. Spelling, I think, is a K, not a yeah, C. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a different it's the same, But other okay. than that, it's yeah, the same, yeah, I got you. Uh, yeah, last matchup of the night. John Cena teaming up with Team Hell No to take on The Shield in a three-on-three, -three, a.k.a. six-man matchup. Yeah, hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they coming uh, from? Impeccable timing. Where's the swagger music? Where are they? Are they in the bathroom? They're coming through. Uh oh. Is the Scottish <laughs> Shield here? I hear here? the copter. Are they here to... in the Shield? It's those damn oh, pageanteers! The, pa <laughs> the pageanteers are here! <laughs> Scottish Shield protected Where pageant. are they? All right. There's only two of them, though. That's not a real shield, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you got to have three. How are you going to do a pack? We'll just separate them. That's easy. <laughs> Big brawl going on. It's exactly what you'd expect. It kind of starts, slows down, mm -hmm. settles out, and becomes more traditional. Moment that I loved in this match was on the outside when Ambrose locked in and hit a huge DDT on Kane. Oh, yeah. Brutal looking. Jake Roberts, like, snap. Damn. I mean, there was some aggression. There was a kick. There was momentum. There was velocity. Uh. Uh, and Kane was down, and then right there, Ambrose kind of looks over it, and he's like, I beat your brother, and now I'm going to beat you. Goes for it. Kane ends up hitting the choke slam, though, reverse. There's a lot more going on uh, right. moving forward. Kane hits the choke slam and tags in Cena, who goes for the five moves of doom. Cena looks like he's got this one in the bag, sets up the attitude adjuster, but his ankle gives away. The Achilles tendon not strong enough to give him a base or foundation. He goes down, and just as that's happening, Roman's coming into the ring and hits the big spear, locks the legs, rolls him up. Bam. One. 
two and three, the shield wins and yes. is still unstoppable. And you thought Cena actually may have really hurt. I mean, we know he was hurt going into this, but you thought he wasn't worth selling. There was, selling a, mo there a, was a moment times. during the match actually where Cena, Cena actually used the injured foot and kicked uh, whoever it was he was up against, and you saw right there his face grimaced, and then he kind of just grabbed the headlock and know. dragged over to his corner. The way he went out, yeah. he went under the ring, and it wasn't that he was doing something for camera. It was like one of those off cams right there. Oh, he's scared. His facial expression was like... Look, it, it wasn't a selling. Okay. Oh, it hurts. Because uh, we've was, seen him do he, things like you know. that before. But we're, when, when guys like, sell, they make it big. When keep, guys are hurt, they contain the expression. Well, keep in mind. If, if you remember a couple uh, months ago, there was a time when he went chasing someone off, and then it looked like it was just a weird little thing. He started hopping twisted off, his ankle a little twisted yeah. his ankle, and it, we thought that like same thing, and it ended up being a work. It was just a really well done but, but work. But keep in mind, though, the Achilles, he is hurt. The Achilles is arguably the hardest. Hardest orthopedic injury to come back from. Okay. Right now you have, and I don't know how bad Cena's Achilles is. I don't know if he needs surgery. I hope he doesn't. But for example, Kobe Bryant. Laker fans are delusional if they think he'll be back next season. It is a full year mm -hmm. to come back and be a legitimate professional athlete. That was my it used to end your career. After yeah. House of Wax. Yeah. The, where oh, they cut yeah. the Achilles. Oh, that's a scary thing. Oh my thing. gosh. They didn't, uh, that's, a, that's a freaky thing. Like, it's a terrible thing. It's an awful injury. Dominique Wilkins, he did it years ago and it ruined right. him. Think I mean, if I remember calf. correctly, like in the 50s or 60s, if you got that, you were in a wheelchair the rest of your life, right? I mean, I know it's a very, very serious injury. I mean, now we have, you know, I, now you look at, you know, Adrian Peterson coming back from a, a clean ACL tear to go for over 2,000 yards, but the Achilles yeah. is, picture an ACL times two. It's yeah. it's terrible. It's terrible to come back from. You know, Cena was worried about planting, uh, kicking. Anything, if your Achilles is not functional, if it's partially torn, you have to be afraid of any kind of movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so if Cena's whole thing, this whole match is to be selling this injury, why when he really does hurt it, why is he trying to do it on the down low? Like, I, th I think what side? ends up happening is when a real injury happens, performance goes away, mm -hmm. and you end up going the masculinity comes in. You don't want to. You don't want to show how much you're hurt. Yeah. So you That's like up, what you did. Absolutely. I tried walking it off. I tried to be like, I'm Didn't okay. Go to a doctor. Nope. I'm okay. <laughs> no, I, came to I'm me. A, I have to make the phone call. Guys, you gotta come back. Uh, <laughs> the first thing I did was text Doctor Laquasto over here. <laughs> I did what I could. Um, so we had a very good point made in chat roll earlier by Drew Sisson, who said, "What if a kid wished Cena turned heel?" Oh. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. That poor kid. We need would. to rally so many kids to get this done. But <laughs> no, we need to get so all cool. kids with awesome. with, with uh, John Cena shirts just doing the like heel, that, just doing the heel <laughs> turn with their foot. <laughs> get as many wow. kids doing the heel turn as you can. Oh man, yeah, that's a great point. I love that. That was a that, that's that's a thought provoking question right oh, there. Man. Way to go. After Bus Universe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. The show closes with Ryback standing on the stage, staring. Breathing heavily. Again. Down at John Cena. Kind of giving him the look like, <laughs> yeah. you're not going to be able to handle me. No. Feed me more. Yeah, not with that busted wheel. Not with that busted wheel. Feed me leather jackets. And that is the broadcast for tonight. Yeah. Well, I, I thought so, uh, fundamentally solid in the middle. Mm. That was like a C to me. She's okay. I yeah, like. it was a passing grade. Yeah. We'll bring up the after show, though, with Showtime memes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's you do this. We got some business going yeah, on. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, well, I was week, back home last <laughs> weekend. I saw this yeah, going on. Yeah, last week we requested some Showtime memes from our audience, and of course they did. Yeah. Oh. Josh takes the chops, so you don't have uh, to. Okay. And that is by not Matt Shaddis. Look at that. Yeah. On Twitter. You have your own wrong. hashtag, Josh Facts. Wow. <laughs> I like that. I like that. that. It's a good patch here. I, I think you need Super uh, Cena. <laughs> Super Padgett. By That's Mr. Good. Chamber. <laughs> I like that. Look at Wait, that did, did, was that a shirt you were wearing, or was that photoshopped? No, they photoshopped, they photoshopped, they photoshopped no, it. No, no, you have those a, pictures with Carrie. Oh, okay. who, who oh. I'm oh, sure it was someone stalked you on Facebook. It was a Halloween costume or something. Isn't that <laughs> creepy? I was looking at that. I was like, people are kind of creepy. Wow. <laughs> How did I get that? <laughs> way, to, way, way to call the guy out who made it, and then call him creepy. <laughs> no. Three hottest dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you missed I saw. I, I, I was watching. One. I was watching from my parents' uh, kitchen. <laughs> That's the best one. Face. She's like li li loving it. That right was there. amazing. That's, that's actually from Drew Sisson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that is from one half of our Scottish Shield. Oh, that's guys. from the Shield. Yeah. yeah. Those guys are awesome. Pageteers, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> J O S H P A. 
there's and this is from the other half. I should never put that picture up on Twitter. That is uh, that's my old high school, my old college uh, headgear, and my uh, uh, old high school uh, singlet that yeah. I used to wear in uh, tournaments. <laughs> and if you guys can't see these memes, we're going to post them on AfterBuzzTV.com um, underneath our episode. I got 99 problems, head and shoulders ain't one. <laughs> 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 I hate you, that's Steven. That's because he uses <laughs> Selsun Blue. He, he uses the Selsun Your Blue. Your hair looks fabulous today. Thank Clum. you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see Maybe what, he's born with We'll it. see what compliments oh, my mother gives you tonight. Oh, yeah? Your yeah. mom loves me. My, my mom, mom does love My you. mom loves you. Hey. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> my mom always tells about... There's how, a lot of motherly love, love going across, across the table. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of popping for the mothers. <laughs> yeah. And actually, I just want to mention again, if uh, people didn't tune in for the first five minutes of our broadcast, that they can go over to proflowers.com um, and... We have uh, some special Yeah, you can discounts. throw AfterBuzz into yeah. the uh, promo coupon code section, and yeah. you'll get yourself a little discount. They have one dozen rainbow roses for nineteen ninety nine, or double the rainbow roses and get chocolates plus a premium pink vase for just twenty nine ninety eight. Yeah. And it's I can tell you, you should get this for your moms, because moms are pretty much the coolest people in the world. They they are, except you. don't get them for Kathy's mom. <laughs> Right. Every right. other mom. She right. would appreciate the chocolate. She would appreciate anything else that Pro Flowers has. My birdie, birdie, um, birdies and bye bye birdies are all my little shout out to my mom mm-hmm. every week. Mm-hmm. I love my mommy. Gotta love moms. Moms rule. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. My mom watches every week, but she'll be watching tomorrow. Are you going to get her flowers? Mother's Day? <laughs> Do you know when Mother's Day is? I don't even know what Mother's right Day is. <laughs> Mother's Day is, it, is coming it, up. Is my it parents are in it's, right it's the now. Sunday after this one, right? <laughs> it's a. It's a. What is that? The 12th? Yeah, a card uh, holiday. Oh, a Hallmark. It's, probably yeah, it's, yeah, hallmark it's, it's not Cinco de Mayo. That'd be a weird yeah. Mother's Day. You just Day. lost a lot of points. I know. So <laughs> <laughs> I will get my mother a card, yes. You know, yeah, hand right in flowers, I don't know. Of I, all the I think, my, holidays, I think my mother would say, save your money right now. <laughs> of all so. the Hallmark yeah. holidays, I accept and okay Mother's Day's okay a good one. one. Mother's Day's a good one. I mean, now we want to talk about Father's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to talk about Valentine's Day. <laughs> that crap. <laughs> Not even a real holiday. LaQuasto, man, since I got you here and I don't What's have up? to come down to the office, uh, can we can we do a little PT uh, live on air maybe? We can. I, I have a feeling you're, you mentioned your ankle's still in uh, not tip-top. I'm getting there. I'm not at 100%. I do have yep. my match at MPW coming up in less than three weeks. You do, and I think in all likelihood your talus, which is the bone on top of your calcaneus, is probably stuck when you, you sprain your You can't say ankle. calcaneus. <laughs> <laughs> it's what seven. Yeah, you can't seven, say that. Seven dirty words. <laughs> My bad. Uh, My cocaneus is bothering me today. You said it again. I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Calcaneus. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> My cocaneus is swollen. So What's your cocaneus doing? No, it's, I said it was stuck. It's stuck. It's ca- stuck where it needs to be. cocaneus is stuck? That sounds yeah. painful. Yeah, Let's do this, it. man. <laughs> All right, I'm coming up. <laughs> We're going foot up, baby. I'm, I'm taking the... Uh, oh. Yeah, you can take your headphones off. Look at those socks. Just make sure you're talking to that mic. Them. Barney Rubble. Okay. <laughs> That's right, Fred. This is, this is fantastic. Do we have another microphone that can... Um, can, yeah. can you move yours over right there here. and we can <laughs> right. share this so one? So for the after buzz... Oh, there we go. That doesn't. Oh, that does reach. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. All right. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Awesome. Yeah, we got it. My audience. I'm gonna lay back this way so I can slip my oh, camera. Oh, look at right you. Here. That's right. Chaos. I'm right there on camera. All right. So for the After Buzz universe, uh, what we got here? Anytime you sprain an ankle, oh, in all likelihood, you got this little bone on top of your heel called the it talus. It slides now. forward. I know. Why did you take Shouldn't off you take your shoe? Sock I know. Oh, we got some Purell in here. Real quick. She so uh, it gets stuck on top of the heel. Oh God. No, it Don't. Doesn't. That's just. Man, <clears throat> doing this for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that cake pot was delicious. <laughs> this would be totally pointless. What's up? Oh, God. <laughs> God forbid. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, basically the talus is on top of the heel. A lot of times you sprain an ankle, get stuck. So we have to do a little talus adjustment. You need to relax your leg completely. All right, so I'm going to bring it up. You want to grab it right right by the malleolus right here. You want to grab this little crease. You need to just uh, kind of hang on for uh, hang on for dear life here, brother. And uh, we're just going to give a little Put little the relax, mic up to it. Relax, so we can relax hear. your foot. Relax your foot. I'm there you go. Scared, dude. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh! Oh <laughs> See, look, now you got full range of motion in your ankle. You're welcome! And now we're Ladies and gentlemen, your PT saved.
savior, Johnny LaCroix. You're not a very good patient. <laughs> You're like, ah, 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 my leg is, ah, my ah, leg is digging against the wood of the desk well, right there. Well, it wasn't an ideal, uh, you know, surface, but hey. Thank you. So, so Thank now you. you've, the, the cock has been, or the. <laughs> Because with that, oh my I, I think we're going to call this one I, a wrap. I think we need to go home. I, 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 I need to the, leave. On the go list home of all of drunk. these after buzzes, I don't know if this one's on the top of it. Oh, my God. And that's not saying anything bad about I'm you. I'm sorry. But everybody, it's dance party time because we're going to wrap this one up with some with some plugs. We got some plugs going, so grab your mic, Clum. You got to lean down oh. as you're dancing. What do we got going on? What do we have going on? I guess next weekend I will be out where you will be at as well. Uh, the Red Carpet Rumble for Championship. Oh, I guess all of us will be yep, there. I'll be Championship doing Championship Wrestling yeah. from Hollywood. I'll be there. Uh, in Anaheim. Uh, May 11th and 12th, uh, I will be up in Palm Springs for Alpha Omega Wrestling. We've got a two-day two, uh, show up at Indio High School. And then May 18th for Millennium Pro Wrestling. Drunk Jerry Maguire, what you got going on? <laughs> and Cluminator at Twitter, at Cluminator. Man, shut up! I'm so tired, Josh. I'm so tired, Josh, at Twitter. Help me help you. Come on. Show me the money, Josh! Show me the money! <laughs> Who do we got over here? <laughs> um, I am at Catherine Kelly on Twitter. That's it? What about Blogspot? Everyone always says it's too long. We're going to make a change in that in the next two weeks. <laughs> Laquasto, man, you always have stuff going on. You are all around the country. You are in clubs all over. Where are you going to be soon? At Jay Quasto on Twitter. Go to Facebook.com slash The Thumb Wrestler and click like. And uh, I have a show on TRadioV.com called The Steel Chair Slamcast. And I'll also be with these two yahoos at Championship Wrestling for Hollywood Red Carpet Rumble at the Business Expo Center in Anaheim this Sunday, May 5th. So go to HollywoodWrestling.com. Get all the info because it's going to be an amazing event. Go to JohnnyLaquasto.com. JLo Comedy, can, JLo Comedy. Excuse me, JLoComedy.com where you can pick up his CD, DVD. He's got a bunch of merch you can go pick up. Yeah. We got to make you some money, baby. Hey, hey, yeah. I'm just happy to be here and busting ankles. <laughs> <laughs> you can check me out at IamSmiley.com, at IamSmiley on Twitter, Facebook.com slash IamSmiley. And then you can also go to MakeMeAProWrestler.com where you can pick up GQ Money's quick... Ten for five? Ten for five, yeah. <laughs> Get that for your mothers who want to be pro Lost wrestlers. focus. My mind is elsewhere this week, so since this is World Wish Day, I'm going to continue to make a wish, and hopefully that wish will come true, yes. and I'll be able to let you know if it does next week, hopefully. Uh, with that said, I think there's only three more words I say, and we're out. Bye-bye, Bernie! Isn't that two words, one said twice? It's hyphenated. <laughs> From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later! later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.